railroads crossed the Atlantic Ocean in 1620 and landed on the rocky shores of the territory that was inhabited by the Wampanoag Indians. Wampanoags were part of the Algonquian speaking peoples, a large group that was part of the woodland culture area. These Indians lived in villages along the coast of what is now Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Samoset met the pilgrims, they were not in good condition. They were living in dirt covered sh shelters, there was a shortage of food, and nearly half of them had died during the winter. They needed help. Squanto decided to stay with the pilgrims for the next few months and teach them how to survive. What were some of the things he taught them? <gasps> how to make corn. How to grow corn. Good. What about each Um. Oh, um, he taught them how to fish. Fish, good. One more. Rocky, what else? How to hunt. How to hunt. Fish and grow crops. Squanto brought them deer meat and beaver skins. He taught them how to cultivate corn and other new vegetables. He showed them how to build Indian-style houses. He pointed out poisonous plants and showed how other plants could be used as medicine. He explained how to dig and cook clams, how to get sap from the maple trees, and dozens of other skills needed for their survival. By the time fall arrived, things were going much better for, for the pilgrims, thanks to the help they had received from Squanta. The corn they planted had grown well. There was enough food to last the winter. They were living comfortably in their Indian-style wigwams and had built a building out of square blocks. This was their church. The pilgrims decided to have a Thanksgiving feast to celebrate their good fortune. What the pilgrims didn't realize was that the Wampanoags held six Thanksgiving festivals during the year. When the Indians sat down to the first Thanksgiving with the pilgrims, it was really the fifth Thanksgiving of the year for them. Mm. Captain Miles Standish, the leader of the pilgrims, invited 
Swanto, Samoset, Massasoit, the leader of the Wampanoags, and their families to join them for a celebration. The pilgrims had no idea how big Indian families could be. As the Thanksgiving feast began, Squanto and Samoset brought 90 relatives with them. The pilgrims were not prepared to feed a gathering of people that large for three days. Can you imagine Thanksgiving for three days? <laughs> no. Seeing this, Massasoit gave orders to his men to go home and get more food. Thus, it happened that the Indians supplied the majority of the food. Five deer, many wild turkeys, fish, beans, squash, corn soup, cornbread, and berries. For the first time, the Wampanoag people were setting, sitting at a table to eat instead of on mats or furs spread on the ground. The Indian women sat together with the Indian men to eat. For three days, the Wampanoags feasted with the pilgrims. It was a special time of friendship between the two very different groups of people. The peace and friendship agreement was made between Massasoit and Miles Standish, giving the pilgrims a clearing in the forest to build their new town of Twenty.